Well, here's what I was thinking, Rye. I'm gonna take you to go to see Mr. Pickle. Mr. Mr. Pickle. <laughs> is this a character or is this a person? <laughs> no, that's his, that's his last name. He's got some badass cars. You don't know what badass is, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be a fail. Ah. All right. It's going to be some late have... model car, no. big wheels. It might have big wheels. Man. Dean, what's hey, going Mike? on, man? What's up, buddy? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Mike says you've got some hot cars. Wait till you see them. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> My dad's in there working right now. Really? Yeah. I can't get my dad to do that. <laughs> oh, OK. What? I'm sorry? Dean, what? you what? have some really nice cars. Thank you. Danny's always on the hunt for Mustangs. This is a 70 Mach 1 428 Cobra Jet. This is a beautifully restored Mustang. The Mach 1 was specifically built for those who prioritized performance and felt the need for speed. It came standard with a 351 cubic inch V8, but when optioned with the 428 Cobra Jet, the Mach 1 became one of the world's fastest cars. This car has been an American icon since its debut and is featured in a ton of films, including the kick-ass 2014 Keanu Reeves flick, John Wick. It is beautiful. It's even got the stock wheels and stock tires. Those are the tires that are supposed to be on there. Restored to absolute specs, yeah, right? Th this car here is exactly the way it was when it rolled off the showroom floor. They made 320 70 428 Cobra Jet four speed cars, and they made 12 that were white. They made three that had the red interior. White with the red. And then they only made one that came with the factory eight track player, which is this one. So this one's actually a one on one. Yeah. Any idea what they're they're worth right now? I mean, they were they were fetching around a hundred thousand at the Barrett Jackson. Get out of here! This is one I don't want to touch. No. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Well, this is one you used to buy a house. Because <laughs> my dad's very meticulous. He's uh, he won't stop until he gets the lines perfect. You know, and yeah, this, that's my dad right there. Hi, Dad. <laughs> How you doing, Pops? <laughs> Very nice job on this car. Absolutely. But the blue one, that's a 69 Mach 1 right there, isn't it? Yeah, this is a 69 428 Cobra Jet car, too. Just like this one, a Cobra Jet. This car was actually painted over 30 years ago. This paint Instead, job is over 30 wait, wait, years yeah. old. Yeah. Let's, let's clear this up. 30 years old, this paint job. Yes, yeah, this paint job's 30 years old. You guys want to see the engine? Oh, we got to see the engine on this. Did you polish <laughs> the block on it, too? Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty clean. You, all you can see is engine just about because <laughs> oh, it's so on. big. Goodness. <laughs> Look at this. Buffed. Even, even the radiator's got all the proper stickers on there. Well, you can see how big the engines are. This is insane. You've got the classic orange and black 70 bought 302 sitting right next to it. This is classic. Hitting the market in 1969, the original Boss 302 was equipped with a powerful 302 cubic inch small block V8 engine that produced a whole lot more than the official advertisements of 290 horsepower. In fact, estimates put the true output at up to 400 horses, which made for one powerhouse of a car. Named for GM executive William Boss Knudsen, the Mustang Boss 302 was built as a Trans Am road race qualifier in Ford's mission to retake the crown from Chevy which it did in 1970. This car was just like this when we bought it, except it was wore out. This is the original parts that were in this car. This is all numbers matching everything. Just needed a facelift. Wow. Yeah, when the boys were in high school, we used to race these cars. We raced cars identical to this for quite a few years. Your sons had cars like these in high school? Yeah. <laughs> Why, you guys were the cool guys, huh? Yeah. You were the popular ones. <laughs> I had an 82 Buick Regal with a huge dent in the door. I had a bicycle. Uh, it's not cool. <laughs> These cars were cool for sure. Next, I need to teach Mike how to find cars that are under $100,000. Dean, Richard, uh, appreciate you uh, showing off your cars, and Mike has somewhat redeemed oh, himself. Oh, yeah, yeah. You say that again? Come on. You've redeemed yourself in knowing what an actual hot car what, is. One of these beautiful cars. Ah, they are oh, hot right. cars. It's going to be a great day today, man. Rolling down to the shop in the Countach, just chilling on this beautiful sunny day, headed over to go meet some very cool folks. They got a 67 Mustang Coupe, and they want us to do this car up. Boss, you made it. How are you? Danny, this is Todd and Karen. How you doing? I'm Danny. I'm Danny. This is Danny. Karen. Karen. Yes. And nice Todd. to meet you. Todd, Todd nice to meet you. First off, 67 Mustangs rock. 
Todd's father is bringing it down, and they want us to restore it for him. Nice. Now, what's the story on this car? My mom bought that car brand new, 1967. So this has been in the family forever. It's a three-generation car. Wow. My grandma had it till I turned 16. And then I picked it up. I bought it for a $2 bill. That was a good deal. <laughs> it was a good investment at the time. Jeez. <laughs> this will be great. Maybe not as great as this picture. <laughs> That's me when I was like 14. Standing there going, one of these days. One of these, exactly. One, one of these, these days. days. It's going to be mine. I love it. That's Done. awesome. That's Done awesome. deal. Today, Karen and Todd are back, and they brought somebody extra special with them to check out the new version of this beautiful family car. You remember Karen. Okay. Absolutely, nice Karen. To good, to see you. good to see you. Good to see you. Todd, to see you. how are you doing, brother? Doing this great. is Grandma Janine. I'm Janine. 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 Nice it's indeed you. a pleasure to meet you, yeah, ma'am. I appreciate you coming out. Oh, yeah. this you have was been great, Dan. The keeper of an amazing car. Never thought I'd be here years later transforming it into something that's just going to even be better. We are waiting. <laughs> do you want to see ready. this? Do you want to see this? Come on. Let's do this. Rolly, bring that gorgeous Mustang out here, baby. Showtime. Down here. Oh, she likes it. She likes it already. That's rumble. Oh my god. Oh wow. It looks oh, like my god. A Mustang. <laughs> oh, love it. Oh my god, that's oh, amazing. Oh, okay. oh, by all means. Perfect. Oh. This is not grandma's old car anymore. This 67 Mustang may have come in nice and sweet, but she's leaving mean and nasty. We gave her a Blueprint 331 stroker engine with 375 horsepower and 390 foot-pounds of torque. Inside, we gave her a custom black leather interior with our Count's Customs Cross embroidered in the back seat. We topped off this beauty with an amazing paint job that pays tribute to the racing Mustang coupes from the Trans Am circuit of days gone by. I know it's not for sale, but man, I'd love to buy her. Gorgeous. Just super. It's amazing. It's, it's, I'm, almost, I'm speechless about yeah. it. It's just incredible. I love Could, it. Couldn't have asked for anything else. He never thought when I saved this car for better than 15 years <laughs> for him, we would be standing here now doing this. Nice. I can tell you yeah. that. Well, I thank you guys for bringing us this project, and I'm glad you guys are happy. Well, it's beyond anything I expected. I mean, we gave you free reign. I love it. I love it. Thank you, thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. It's really obvious how much this family's attached to this car, and they wanted her to be more powerful and more beautiful again, and I'm so stoked that we made Todd, Karen, and Grandma very happy. Nobody's gonna believe me, but I'm telling you, man, I actually saw that Mustang smile, and why wouldn't she, huh? Hi, I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place that you might think would be in Detroit, but it's right here in Las Vegas. The Shelby Heritage Center Factory and Museum. They got the coolest Mustangs on the planet right here. And I'm meeting up with my man, Gary. He's going to give me a special tour. Gary, I have never been here before, brother. Show me Shelby. Well, you know, this is the coolest place in the world. We can do mild to wild. What is this here on the post? That is the bad boy Shelby. When 850 horses just isn't enough. <laughs> A thousand horsepower. That's insane. Did he get to see this happen? Oh, he did. Oh, thank God he got to see that happen. Oh. He was blown away. Man. He's like, you know, we could use more horsepower. <laughs> He's hilarious. But I got a whole room of cars that I ought to show you. Brother man, let's, let's go. Do it. I'm hearing there's something else in this compound that I'm dying to see, man. and I am psyched because we're heading that way. This is the place. Dude. Shelby Mustangs all over the place. All the more modern Mustangs are in this section of the room. When people think about Shelby Mustangs, they often think about that white car with the blue stripe. Nice. And now the Cobras. Cobras, man. The Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. This is the car that literally Carroll Shelby, Ford Motor Company, and the United States handed Ferrari their ass. In a time period where cars were typically huge in America, they had big engines, but man, they didn't stop and they didn't turn. This thing right. did all of it well. Fun and fast. Fun and fast. Right. Well, brother, there is uh, one thing hiding behind us over here that uh -huh. I think I know what she is. Is that really her? That is the one. This is hollow ground. This is the first, the first cobra. cobra ever made. This is the one that started everything. Almost. Unbelievable. I, I, there, there's something about her. There's a vibe. 
You can feel it. Well, you know what? I think you ought to feel it by sitting in that seat. You could sit in there. Oh, will you let me? The very first Cobra. Man, absolutely. In fact, I'm off the golf club of boots. All right. I know you can respect oh, it. You know how to get in. Lord. There you go. Good oh. job. It's quite a seat there. It is amazing. Oh, my Lord. There is so much significance here. It's unbelievable. Look at this clock. Yeah, it had a little clock. It is just. So many things about her that sets it apart from everything else. Yep. I gotta ask only because I don't think that there's a real answer. What is what what is the value of a car like this? Well, it's, it's virtually real. priceless. It is priceless. Now, years ago, Carol was offered twenty-five million dollars. Twenty-five million, million for her dollars, and said no. No, thank you. God bless it. I wouldn't have taken it either. This this could be this could be the coolest car in the world. Man, what they got in this museum as a car guy will blow your mind all over the place. But the last thing you see is that little blue Cobra sitting over there. For a car guy, that is a big deal. Thank you for doing this today with me, man. I appreciate this. No problem at all. I'm not going to sleep for a week. <laughs> all right, you guys, come on out. Susan, you. Bob. Man, oh, man, you guys are going to be so excited to see this little car. I am. Oh, you guys are going to dig it. And I apologize. Danny is tied up with a client out of town. You know his heart's here, so. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Yeah, we understand. Yeah. understand. Awesome, awesome. Are you guys ready to see I'm this? I'm ready. All right, <laughs> all right. Look at Oh, oh look, at, the look front. at it. Look at the front, just like it was. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look now, at the, look where the license plate goes. Red. Got it on Yes, there. I'm glad it's red. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, it's so pretty. <gasps> Oh, man, oh, it looks man. like a different Look car. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful. We promised Bob and Susan a factory correct restoration, and that's exactly what they got. We tore her apart and went through every last inch of her from every panel right down to all the nuts and bolts. We rebuilt the factory inline six cylinder engine and added power steering, along with some modern day upgrades, including power disc brakes and air conditioning, so that Susan can drive this baby all year long. Paul did an incredible job with her interior, restoring her back to the original color she came with back in 1966. And last but not least, Ryan made sure to dig through the many layers of repaints to figure out the exact factory red color. And wow, that red paint job is perfect. This Mustang is essentially brand new, and man, is she gorgeous. Cool. So pretty. This is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Ryan is, is our paint guru, so he he laid this paint. How you guys doing? Man, you did a How great you job. <laughs> you look at it. Absolutely. It's your car. This turned out great. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. There's not any tears or anything. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. No cracks. No. That's all brand new. <laughs> yeah. Wait till you see the trunk, because we've got a hell of a tree for you in the trunk. Okay. What could this be? Come on, yeah, open. Come on now. Oh, the Mustang! Mike put together one of his own special projects. He did uh, a oh, piece of wall it. art for you. Because the budget went up. And you guys really took that news well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is a brand new car. It looks brand it's new. It's brand new. Every panel on this car is brand new. Oh, y'all, it is just gorgeous. It really is. I really appreciate that. Oh, appreciate you're welcome. So you're welcome. Y'all did a great job. Thank you very much. You guys are going to sit in <laughs> it? Yes, we're going to sit in it. Yeah, you guys, you guys sit, sit in it. it. Sit in the car. <laughs> Thank you. Like they do in Texas. Yes, a that's Texas right. Gentleman, Thank you. Right? OK, y'all ready? Please. All right. Susan and Bob wanted their 1966 Mustang convertible restored to the way it was back in the glory days. And man, did we hit it out of the park. I was a little worried about the budget for a while, but in the end, it all worked out. The car is perfect, and the clients couldn't be happier. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you guys want to come with me to the office, we'll just finish up some paperwork, and you guys are... <laughs> you guys are ready to go. Sound good? All right. We're going to miss having her around. Oh, she's beautiful. It's the big day. I know you're excited. One of our favorite customers, Tanya, 
snuck her fiance Shane's 1970 Ford Mustang out of storage and down to our shop for a complete restoration. He has no idea we've been working on this baby and she is beautiful. She's done and now we got our secret plan in place for the big surprise. So like we planned, it's like a Jenny coming around the corner. Yes. So when you're ready for me to come, just look that way. Okay. But you better get him good. I'll do my best. Scott's got Tanya all set. She's going to call Shane with some made-up story about having car trouble. Scott's going to be watching from the distance, and Kevin and I are hiding around the corner in the Mustang. So when Shane shows up, Scott's going to give us a call. Kevin and I, we're going to come cruising in in Shane's gorgeous 1970 Ford Mustang and blow his mind. What'd you do? Well, I just took it a little fast down this quiet road, and then it, like, conked out. Sorry. No problem. We'll figure it out. Bring it on in, Big Daddy. Shane's going to be surprised. Shane's going to trip. Nice car. Hey, what are you two doing here? You all got some car problems? We're a little, yeah. Oh, I drove one of these in high school. You're kidding me. A 70? That's right. Really? 70. Really? Yeah. Man, I just I, I just picked this up not too long ago. I got this from this really, really, really nice gal who came to my shop That's and awesome. uh, just did a whole bunch of work to it, man. It's a good looking car. Very, very Where's nice. Where's yours at? In the storage. You still have it? Yeah. Oh, nice. It. Actually, babe, we have something is... to tell you. Yeah. Just like you were my hero and came to my rescue. Right. Well. This ain't my car. This is your car. No. Yes, it is. <laughs> this ain't my car. <laughs> this is my car. That's your car, man. <laughs> this is for you, babe. For the man, when we got her, she's a really nice car. And the car just completely behaved on taking it apart and putting it back together. I mean, we re-chromed everything, polished all the stainless, and bought some extra goodies for it, the chin spoiler, the hood scoop. We set you up with the louvers on the back, kept the satin down the center, you know what I'm saying? But just to give you the nice accents, check out them body lines. I mean, she's straight. Look at it. <laughs> it's all time, you brother. I'm telling you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's all mm. The words can't even express how I feel. I noticed when it pulled up that Danny was driving, and I'm like, well, that's strange. Well, maybe she <laughs> called in to help her, too, you know? But Danny gets out and says, it's my car. I was like, no way. <laughs> that's crazy. My grandfather hated this car. You serious? Why? He said it was loud and noxious. I was going to get in a lot of trouble. Was he right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reaction I was hoping for. Just by looking at him when he was standing with Danny, I think he was psyched that that was his car. Yeah. <laughs> we just kept thinking, man, I hope Shane doesn't get in his warehouse for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna call the cops. <laughs> <sighs> Unbelievable. Man, I really love these two. They're awesome. And I also love a really good surprise. But when that surprise turns out to be your very own 70 Ford Mustang that's been stashed away for a gazillion years and it shows up beautifully restored, it doesn't get much better than that. Dude, you two look absolutely perfect in that car. <laughs> I think you're 18 again. I love it. Get off here. Yeah, you gotta get off here, Mike. Hey, Mike, you gotta hey, get Mike. off here. Don't make me come back there. <laughs> taking the boys on a little road trip to celebrate a very special birthday. The Ford Mustang is turning 50, and there's a huge celebration going on at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I know a guy who's gonna give us the VIP treatment. And what could be better than Stangs, Stangs, and more Stangs? I'm looking for Gary, Gary Patterson. Patterson, yeah. Let's go right here to the Shelby truck, man. I bet you we find Gary right, right here, man. That's a beautiful rig, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Holy! Oh, so good, see you, good yeah, to see you, man. guys. This is Gary. What was your name again? I'm Sam. Sam. Good Vince. Vince. Brian. Sam and Brian. Vince and Gary. Dark. Gary, I pre-apologize for everybody that I brought out, especially hey, him. Vince. Vince. I pre-apologize for that. Man. Man. Uh, it's, it's the hair. Don't. <laughs> I met the count when he ordered his Shelby Series One back in the late '90s. He's got one of the very rare Shelby Series Ones, which is all carbon fiber body, aluminum chassis, and that thing rocks. We brought a whole host of Shelby cars. We got Shelby Mustang. Yes. We got 850 horses wide body. It's like 10 times better than any other 
Mustang I've ever seen. Check this thing out, man. Oh, dude. Liquid cooled 3.6 liter supercharger on a 5.8 liter engine. Oh. 850 horses. This thing is just badass. This is sick. What is an MSRP from Shelby for a car like this? It's about a buck and a quarter. Buck yeah, and a quarter, yeah. yeah. Gary, tell me, of course about this gorgeous oh, you Cobra know over here. You know what a Cobra freak I am. Yeah, and I know you like black. Yes, and you know I like <laughs> black. It's a CSX 6000, 6000 series car. Series. Okay. So it's a 427 body, just like we did in the 60s. Modern <laughs> fuel injection, so you can take this, hit the key, drive it. Every day. Normal. Every day. Normal. It's, it's like 430 horses. And this doesn't weigh anything. And this car weighs like 2,500 pounds. Yeah, very fast. It's absolutely gorgeous, man. Down here, this car is a 2014 Mustang GT. Okay. That we take to Shelby and we change it. So it's got a custom hood, wheels, tires, brakes, suspension, 624 horses. Nice. We're experimenting right now with an all carbon front brake system. Wow. So this is our first weekend with the car. Okay. You want to go for a ride? <laughs> Twist my arm. Let's do it, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man, that's some serious tuning, and that's with cold tires. Oh yeah. Oh, the brakes feel great. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, the G's on that. Unbelievable. What do you think, Danny? Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> This car is so fast. How fast are we getting on the streets? Oh, I don't know, 120 or something. This thing is awesome. Unbelievable. Man, I've been in a lot of fast cars, but these Shelbys, they never cease to amaze me. The power and handling that these babies put out are incredible, man, and I'm so psyched I got to go out for a spin in one today. One of the most fun parts about this whole thing was driving down the street, seeing all you guys standing there wishing you were in it. I love it. Ah, I love it. <laughs>